Our primetime five today looks back at the first round of the NAI football playoffs. That's here on Midwest Sports Now. To the number five spot, that belongs to Morningside's A.P. Ponder. He had 22 carries for 132 yards and two touchdowns. Morningside defeated Dickinson State 57-14. The number four spot belongs to Kansas Wesleyan. Baker, in this playoff matchup, got on the board first with a touchdown in the first quarter, and then the Coyotes scored 42 straight points following that from the second quarter on. Johnny Foto was 17 of 27, passing for 327 yards and five touchdowns. Oh, and by the way, that Kansas Wesleyan defense got it done. The number three spot is reserved for Grandview's Brendan Flowers. He blocked the extra point attempt for Concordia, and Concordia had scored a touchdown with about five minutes left in the fourth quarter to try to pull to within a tie. That extra point attempt blocked by Flowers, and Grandview was able to hold on to a 31-30 lead and win the game and advance. Grandview will be at home next weekend against College of Idaho. Number two on our primetime five, it's Joe Dolinchek from Morningside. The Mustang quarterback was 26 of 35 passing for 346 yards and four touchdown passes to four different receivers. Bo Ells, Austin Johnson, Reed Jurgensmeyer, and Addison Ross. The Mustangs will next host St. Xavier in the NAI quarterfinals. In our number one spot, back to Kansas Wesleyan one more time, it's the receiving core. Stevie Williams had six catches for 162 yards and two touchdowns. Trenton Poe Evans with Six receptions on the day, five receptions on the day for 122 yards. And Richard McCauley, he had only four catches on the day, but three of them were for touchdowns. Kansas Wesleyan advances with the 42-7 victory over Baker and will be at home in Salina next week to face Lindsey Wilson. This has been the the Primetime Five on Midwest Sports Now. I'm Joey McWilliams. I invite you to like and to share and subscribe to this channel. We'll have more NAI football coverage, NAI volleyball this week as well, and maybe some Division II football from the playoffs. Thanks for watching. God bless you and have a great day.